what it was asking me to do. However, basically what we talked about last class period is this problem, you would have to do long division. You have to do long division <laughs> because your divisor is squared. Remember, we could only do synthetic division when our divisor was linear. So therefore, I'm just going to set up my long division algorithm. And I have x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 6x squared minus 3x plus 5. OK? So now, again, going following through my steps, you take x and divide it to x to the fourth. How many times does x squared divide into x to the fourth? If that kind of tricks you up, again, I'm basically just asking, how many times does x squared divide into x to the fourth? Using your rules of exponents, you get x squared because you subtract the powers. Then I take this value x and I multiply it by both terms. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 1 is x. Now, I don't want to write that here because I can't subtract x cubed and x squared. So what I need to do is I need to move that over here because those are what we, those are like terms. What I showed, what you can do then if you don't like this space is you can put a space value there. You can put like a 0x cubed if you like. But what you'll notice is it doesn't really matter. It's just going to go all the way down. Then the last step is you're going to subtract the rows. Make sure you put them in parentheses because you've got to subtract both of these values. So you have x to the fourth minus x to the fourth is 0. Negative 3 minus 0, which you just realize is really just bringing it down. And then you have 6x squared minus x squared, which is a positive 5x squared. You could put zeros in for here, or you can just kind of realize that these are both going to come down as well. Okay, So what I want you guys to understand is that is like one round. It's basically what I did. I took the first term, divided it into the first value, put my quotient, answer, multiplied it by both of them, wrote that down, and then subtracted. So I divided, multiplied, and then subtracted. That's one round. Well, guess what? I still have more rounds to go. So now basically what you do is just do it all over again. How many times does x squared go into negative 3x cubed? So negative 3x cubed divided by x squared. Well, it goes into there negative 3x times. Multiply it by both terms again. Negative 3x times x squared is negative 3x cubed. Negative 3x times 3 is going to be a negative 3x. Again, I'm going to label it under here because those are going to be like terms. And then I subtract. This gives me 0. I can bring this down. You could put a 0 there if you wanted to and subtract them, but subtracting 0 is really not doing anything, right? And then negative 3x minus a negative 3x is now going to give you 0. And then we have plus 5. Then we do it again. x squared divides into 5x squared, positive 5 times. Again, this is kind of giving you a little trouble. And then we do 5 times x squared, which is 5x squared. And 5 times 1, which is positive 5. Subtract the rows. 5x squared minus 5x squared is 0. 0 brings down. 5 minus 5 is 0. So your quotient is x squared minus 3x plus 